Daisy. She's not much of a tennis ball player, but Max here, the cute little one-year-old lemon coat beagle, he loves tennis balls. Look what I found at the park today. You want the tennis ball? Oh, okay. Be nice. Be nice. Okay, ready? Good boy. There you go. Hey, at least something good came out of the park today. Got one bass, and now Max got himself a tennis ball. Well, we're hitting my local pond again today. I want to see if I can catch a few things. I wanted to run out into town, but it got late. It's like 11. You know, I'm being in Maricopa, driving into town, spending a few hours. I got to deal with rush hour traffic, trying to get back. I need to get out earlier. Just had a lot of chores to do this morning, cleaning the truck, doing things. So it's around 11.30 right now. Uh, I just threw out a garlic worm, like a half a garlic worm, out on that pole with a bell towards the middle. Um, since it's a little bit later, I'm going to start with a drop shot. I'm going to use one of my favorite worms, even though I've never caught anything on it. I just love the name of it. It is the uh, Robo Worm Margarita Mutilator. This is a four and a half inch straight tail. I mean, come on, what a name, Margarita Mutilator. That thing's just the coolest name ever. So, let's see if some of these fast one an afternoon margarita. So, I'm gonna throw a few different things at them. My goal is just to catch something today, maybe a catfish over here on this pole, maybe a bass over here, we'll see. Come on, we just wanna catch a fish today. I did want to get out. I had plans to drive to Anthem. Um, used to live out there. They have a great little... Oh, I'm getting some nice little tugs on that. I don't know if those are bluegills or what. Um, but I love the Anthem Community Park out there. It's pretty far outside of town. You know, from where I live, it's probably an hour and 15 minutes. Um, but it's a beautiful park. One of the nicest parks I've ever seen. I used to live out there. I used to go there quite often with the kids and fish there. I think it's probably one of the first places I ever caught bass, to be honest. And uh, it's all catch and release. It's a community pond just for the residents of Anthem. Uh, but I've been back to fish it a few times. I really don't think they'll give you a hard time as long as you just respect others. You know, don't make a mess. You know, don't be loud. You know, no drinking and stuff. Just go there, have fun, fish a little bit, and uh, release the fish and be respectful of everyone. You should be fine. So my plan is to get out there sometime soon and do a nice video of Anthem, uh, of the park there. Thanks again for all the support, guys. We're getting up to close to 270 subscribers now. Don't forget, you can also go over to Instagram and follow me at Hooked by Hurley. That's the best place to message me and contact me if you guys want to get together. Mm. Well, they took that worm, so I use the other half right here of that garlic worm. Right here, you can see I'm just throwing it on a drop shot hook to get it out there. I don't think the catfish in here are all that big. I did catch a 15 pounder in here that I re released back in March on power bait of all things when I was, cat when I was uh, fishing for trout. And uh, we let him go. That was on a little six pound test, small pole I was just had out there on a little Carolina rig. I don't know how I didn't break my line or lose him, but we got him. Maybe what I'll do for you guys is include that photo. He was 15 pounds even almost. that be and we'll go back to the drop hey Lloyd all right I'm switching up from the uh, margarita mutilator over to the chigger claw I like to kind of mix it up on the drop between colors and also going from one like a worm to a creature bait to like maybe a swim bait like a minnow or something like a fluke so right now we're gonna switch over to the chigger and then if that doesn't do any good, then we'll go. Maybe we'll try like a fluke or something or a swim bait. Like a lighter color, like a white or something. 
just keep throwing different things at them until we figure out what's going to work. I'll try to get under that tree from here. Work it right through there. There's a bunch of rocks right there too. Like I said, that's the thing about knowing your local ponds. That's why I'd love to get out and go fish with some of you guys that, uh, you know, fish around your local ponds and stuff and might have some tips and tricks and know the areas, you know, where the bass hide out or even catfish and what they like to eat, what kind of baits for catfish or what works for bass or whatever you got. I just happened to know with, oh, 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 just got one right there. Oh, he fell off. Oh, come on. Oh, you guys heard that little bit of drag? I don't know. He had it and was running. Thought we had him on. Oh, I can't believe it. Man, we've had a few good fights. That was the best one so far. And uh, he let go. Man, these guys are being finicky. Dang it. Thought we had one. He felt decent too. Dang it. Like I said, at least we're getting bites though. At least we're getting bites. Come on. So far, I've gotten a bite on the, the mutilator. I got a bite on this chigger claw. We just haven't been able to get one. Haven't been able to hook them. We're getting bites on the worm. Eventually, we just gotta get lucky. Just gotta get lucky and get one. All right. Let's try that again. Come on. about time to switch up to something else. They've seen the trigger now for a while, gotten a hit on it. Now we need to try something different. Oh, 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 no. I thought we might have had one there, but I don't think so. It's definitely running. It's definitely running. Okay, we got him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice jump. Nice jump. All right, let's see if we can keep him. All right. Come here, bud. Oh, that's a nice size one, too. Let's get him out. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. That's a pretty big one for in here. Ow. Come here. Oh, that's a nice boy. Finally. Look at that, guys. He's nice and fat. That's the first one. Hooked by Hurley today. Finally, we got one. And I need to get a quick pick, guys, if you don't mind, for uh, Instagram. Got to stay up on all that stuff. Boom. All right, buddy, thank you. Get back out there. Keep getting fat. All right. <clears throat> I was about to switch anyway, so he took the, the chiggers gone. So 
There we go, first one on the drop. The trigger has actually been kind of money lately. That day when I was here with, with Matt and I got three in 30 minutes, they were all on the trigger. So now we're gonna switch up to something different. And uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, we just got one on that trigger claw. I'm gonna switch up to a white swim bait. What I'm gonna use, I got these like random, like uh, multicolored trailers off of Amazon. You know to use with like a uh, chatter baits or um, swim jigs things like that uh, but they're pretty cool and I like the white one in here because I want to go with the color contrast go with something white so what I'm actually gonna do is throw this little swim jig with a paddle tail on it on the drop shot and try that real quick uh, I checked the catfish pole again and the worm was gone again so this time I went with a small piece of hot dog and try a different location we'll see but that was fun to finally catch a bass. It's been a while. Oh, oh, we just got... What did we get? A snag? Ah, thought we had a fish. Ah, that was a snag -a rooney Hey, the further we get away, maybe that bell will go off now. Come on. Come free. I could, maybe I need to do some push-ups, we'll see. Oh, I got a stick. Okay, that's why. We got ourselves a, a tree limb. We're pretty close, we're pretty close, we're pretty close. All right. Ah. Yeah, we got tangled up pretty good in this tree limb. Let's go. Oh, I hooked him good, too. This tree limb wasn't going nowhere. All right. I mean, that's, I would say that's a good, like, look at that thing. That's like a good, uh, four, three, four pound, three or four pounder there. So we got a bass and probably like a new record for me, uh, for a tree limb. That's pretty big. And look at this brand new tennis ball out here. Um, can we get it? My dog loves tennis balls, probably like most of your dogs. So we got a cute little new addition to our little dog pound at home. <clears throat> Max, like one year old beagle. He's a uh, lemon coat, but he loves tennis balls. I'll wash this up back at the house and give Max a tennis ball. So we got a tree limb, we got a tennis ball, and we got um, a bass so far. So doing pretty darn good, I guess. Yeah, I've got a little harem of dogs back at the house, two beagles and a min pin, and then my oldest has a uh, little Jack Russell mix. So we got quite a few at the house, but Jack Russell mix and Max, they really like the tennis balls. So we'll save this. For Maximus, the Maximus pain in the butt. All right, let's go down to that corner where we got rid of that tree limb and see if uh, if we scared all the fish away or not. I don't know. Hey, it's never a bad day when you catch a fish, even if it's just one. Trout coming next week. More places to go. More people have been reaching out. They want to go fishing together, so I'm looking forward to getting out. I'm doing some more fishing this week. Hit some more places. I feel like it's going to be a good week this week, guys. So stay tuned. There'll be more content coming soon. Thanks for watching today. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.